today a bit of an experiment and a little bit of fun a recipe that may get me in a lot of trouble with italians i'm making a carbonara using chorizo let's do it the first ingredient for this highly controversial recipe is some chorizo so take a nice sharp knife and you want to dice up your chorizo into nice little cubes not too small we do want them to have a little bit of bite and once you've diced up your chorizo pop a frying pan onto the hob turn the heat between low and medium and chuck in your chorizo pieces add a tiny dash of olive oil just to help it along and you want to fry off the chorizo until it starts to get very slightly crispy and it will release all of its beautiful orange oils at this point chuck your chorizo to one side pop a saucepan onto the hob turn the heat up high add some boiling water and you want to heavily salt the water you want your pasta water to be as salty as the sea chuck in some dried spaghetti and you want your pasta nice and al dente so cook it about a minute or two less than it says on the packet so take a mixing bowl and we want some good quality free range eggs and for a carbonara i like to use two whole free range eggs and for some extra creaminess add two yolks and pecorino romano cheese grate in a nice generous amount of your pecorino cheese take a fork and give that a really good mixing up in the bowl once your carbonara sauce is ready pop that to one side until we need it and at this point our pasta should be pretty much ready to go so check your pasta make sure it's lovely and al dente pop your saucepan with the chorizo back on the heat turn the heat down low and then chuck in your dried spaghetti and very quickly guys if you can just give the video a thumbs up by hitting the like button below give it a really good mix in the pan add some freshly ground black pepper we don't need to add salt because of the chorizo the cheese and the pasta water give it another good mix and then chuck in a ladle or so of your pasta water toss that in the pan and then next you want to turn off the heat and pour in your carbonara sauce give that a really good stir through and after a few minutes the sauce will get beautiful and creamy and then you want to take your chorizo carbonara pile it high on a plate and then finish with a few good twists of some freshly ground black pepper and a nice generous grating of your pecorino romano cheese some may call this recipe sacrilege but it is a little bit of fun and you really can't argue with the flavor so get in the kitchen get cooking and enjoy